Hi everyone, welcome to the Barbuto Family Channel. We are here in Florence, Italy. We arrived a few days ago, and now it's time to stock up our refrigerator with delicious, organic, fresh Italian food. And what better place to do it other than the market in San Lorenzo. That's right. And where you learn Italian. So guys, as we walk to the San Lorenzo market, it is in Piazza San Lorenzo. And this is the San Lorenzo church. Uh, it's one of the oldest, if not the oldest churches in Florence. Uh, it was consecrated in the year 393. Uh, so it's very special. A lot of the members of the Medici family, uh, they are buried here uh, at this church. And adjacent to the church, there's uh, an outside market and an inside market. We're gonna show you both. The food is all on the inside. Um, on the outside, they sell a bunch of leather uh, and different different items, uh, for mainly for tourists. Right, Rodina, or? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But they have better prices here than inside the stores. Uh, Would you say? Yeah. This is a place where you have to negotiate. Not only you can shop, but you can eat, you can have cooking classes, so many things. Hey guys, so we made it into San Lorenzo Market and they really have everything here. Freshest of meats, fish, fruits and vegetables. They make focaccia bread here, different types of bread. They have cold cuts, they have all different types of great wine. Um, and you can also have lunch here. And they have cooking classes. So um, it's really an experience coming here. Uh, the prices are better, um, I think, here than, than other places in Florence. And um, it's just a lot of fun always. Look, look at my surroundings here. And of course, it's not just this little section here. This place is quite massive um, and it's two floors. So let's go around, let's find out what we're gonna purchase uh, for our family. And we'll show you guys some, some other parts of the market. Pasta, limoncello, oil, olive oil, limoncello, vinegar, all things that maybe you want to take a piece of when you go back home and you want to have it with your friends back home. And also, there is a whole section of vegetables and a whole section of the fish, and they're separated.
were at the vegetable section and I saw figs and I really love figs so I'm gonna go grab some. Okay, I can also try. Oh. What are you eating? A muffin. A muffin? Yeah. Well, we got to have so many fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are really healthy, and if you eat them, then you'll get really strong and healthy. The zucchini here, guys, you see, are so different from the ones that we buy in the States, and they are so good. So good. So I'm gonna make a good zucchini dish. I love uh, branzino, which is a Mediterranean fish, and they have here all kinds of branzinos. So I got the medium size, and the guy is gonna fillet for me because I don't want to have all, to do all the dirty work at home. And uh, and then probably I will get some um, seafood to make like a seafood salad kind of thing, and then that, that's for dinner. Are you being silly now? Okay guys, uh, since we got fish uh, for dinner tonight, I wanted to have a pasta fish dinner with uh, a, a seafood pasta and I um, came here to get the fresh pasta and they have different sizes, different kinds and I feel that for the seafood pasta dish, the fettuccine is the most appropriate. So that's what she made for me. The best part of it, I got 500 grams of fettuccine, fresh, homemade, and they were only 3 euros. So now we made it to the wine section, and even though we have a lot of wine at home, Ravenna wants to get another bottle. Yeah, we have to get the appropriate wine for the appropriate dinner. Got the wine. Grazie a lei. Thank you. Buona giornata. Adieu. So now we're in the elevator going to the second floor, which actually in Italy is the first floor, and the floor that we were on is the ground floor. So that's the way it is in Italy. 
uh, kind of different from the U.S., but we're going to now the first floor, um, which is the area where you can drink wine and have lunch, um, and um, there are cooking classes up there we're going to show you in a second, but we're done with our shopping for today. And in the U.S., while we'll shop for four or five days, here we basically shopped only for one day because tomorrow we return and we get, again, fresh food and fresh vegetables um, for tomorrow night. So that's how we do it here in Italy. Okay, so behind us is where they teach cooking classes, and uh, we've never done it before, but it's something that we always talked about doing. Uh, so maybe we can incorporate the kids into it and, and uh, we'll all have fun. So check that out. So now, we're, as I said, we're upstairs, and, um, and here you can see everybody's eating and you can have you know, great wine. Here you can even choose the fish that you want. They'll cook it right here, they'll put it in pasta, and it's, it's really delicious. Um, unfortunately, we have to leave because Leo and Sophia, they have their art classes right now, so we're gonna go. But we'll come back another day for lunch. Um, it's always a fun experience uh, here in Mercato San Lorenzo. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed our video and learn something about Florence. Next time you're in Florence, make sure you come to Mercato di San Lorenzo. And remember, Leo is a ninja. All right, guys, see you next time. Ciao.